Hello, friends. In this cold winter day, we take you to this beautiful winter view with a lot of snow and treat you a sausage. <laughs> we barbecue the sausage. So, <laughs> oh, oh, maybe it's already back. Look. Wow. We get it next to the lake. Destroy it. Destroy? No, no, no. With your hand. Whoa, it's not possible. Okay. <laughs> Fake sausage. Oh, it's snowing. <laughs> hmm. Okay. What are we doing here today? Today, we'll make it a fun video for you. We talk about interesting subject. The subject is um, um, there are a few things I want to compare between Poland and China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can give me you can give me your comment in the end of the video, okay? So there are a few things. First of all, everybody say that the Polish people like to complain and they complain a lot and they complain a lot of things. Right. And yeah, and I don't mind they complain as long as they don't complain about me. <laughs> and what about in China when people meet with their friends, what they talk about? I tell you, Chinese people, we don't complain because if you, you see that if you complain, then you have to talk about many negative things in life. So, so Chinese people pretend that everything is perfect. Yes, they don't want to lose their faith, you know, hmm. they, they want they like to boast the things that they are proud of in their lives. For example, the achievement of their children. <laughs> so if there's nothing they can boast, then they like and so prefer I, to talk about I other know, people's lives. I know life what story. Chinese people would complain. What? Your parents. Come on, why they complain about my parents? Because they are not, they are not proud of you. <laughs> so yeah, my parents would not talk about me, they prefer to talk about the life of other people, they gossip, Chinese people really like gossip. Mm. So, alright, next thing I would like to talk about is that um, um, Polish friends told me that uh, Polish people like to stare at foreigners. Yes, there are many people look at me in the street and they don't smile too much. <laughs> I like that they will be interested in me and I want them to talk with me even. I like them to talk with me, but it turns out that Polish people don't really like to talk to strangers. I, I think they, they think it as an invasion of privacy and they don't want other people to disturb them too, right? Kind of, but I have to admit, I have to say that a few times it happened that the Polish people started to talk with you and they started to talk with you in English and I was even surprised that it happened so many times. Um, I am ha very happy. Because <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect that it would happen even once. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, it can be more. <laughs> okay, what about Chinese people? Chinese people like to stare at foreigners too. <laughs> Maybe they are not used to foreigners. They don't see foreigners so frequently. And believe me, they are really curious and re they really want to talk to foreigners. Sometimes they are timid or they don't know the language. Sometimes they don't know language. <laughs> yeah, in general, they don't know the language. Hmm. But the young generation say they know English and, and, and mostly they want to practice English with foreigners. Yeah, that's true. They want yeah. to abuse foreigners. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The next thing I find in Poland, people don't really like to use umbrella too much no when it rains unless it rains so heavily that they have to use the umbrella otherwise they just wear their jacket and it doesn't matter if the jacket will be wet or not in China if it rains then people always use the umbrella not only but also they use the umbrella when it's very sunny <laughs> they you know, the culture is that the Chinese people think the white skin is more beautiful. So people want, and the girls especially, they don't want to be tanned. When I was in China, you know, my, my skin is 
Well, since I was born, it's darker than normal guys. So, so frequently people make joke of me for this reason. So in China, and I always take umbrella with me, so it protect a little bit, right? <laughs> when I come to Europe, it's okay. Nobody say about anything, so I just forget about my umbrella. Okay. And there is one other thing that I want to mention that uh, it was in Poland that the first time I saw people fishing in the river. You know, people everywhere they like to go fishing in China too. But usually, I know that people go to river and sit on the shore and wait for the fish. But but I see that in the, the, the in the in the river. That you you see that the river we frequently go and we have a video of it that we, in summer we go there to play in the, in the water yeah that river there are we see it frequently that people go inside the water and stand in the middle of the water and do fishing there and the water is that uh, as deep that much that deep it means it's not deep that's why they go inside the river okay maybe in China we don't have that mm -hmm. this deep river so I don't I've never seen it before in China so it's really it's really shocking for me oh my god it's so much fun and maybe one day I would do this <laughs> but but I think that we need license to go yes fishing, yes yes yeah? you need license uh -huh. or certain permission at least one day permission mm, so we cannot do it now <laughs> well I would like to try <laughs> no. Okay, and, and other things uh, what worth mentioning is that uh, um, I think uh, there are some rules in Poland that are very strict. For example, that uh, people cannot uh, drink alcohol and cannot get drunk in public space. They shouldn't also smoke in public. Uh, smoke, I can understand. They shouldn't, they shouldn't litter, they shouldn't it. throw away the rubbish in the public. <laughs> Okay, anyway, in China we don't have this law, okay? They said people cannot drink, cannot get drunk. Maybe it's because that up to now, drunk people haven't made big trouble yet in China, so they didn't think about it to make a law. I think that the reason is different, but whatever. Right, it's a joke. <laughs> and then another example is that... Um, and the car driving on the road, they have to turn on the light 24 hours, no matter the daytime or in the evening. Yeah, that's quite controversial. It's in this way, but in China, you know, during the daytime, you don't have to turn on your light. If you have your light on, people think that you forgot to turn it off, <laughs> and they will remind you to turn, turn off your light. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I think that and we already said so many things. No other differences between Poland and China? There are, but we will leave until next episode. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. And we have a winter in Poland. Yeah, the winter is long, long winter. <laughs> long winter. <laughs> yeah. We well, as long as there is a snow, it's not so bad actually. So next time we will make a snowman. You can make it now, a small one. We make a snowman and hold a sausage in his hand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's start. Please like our video and subscribe. Okay? See you. Bye bye. You make a small snowman on the bench? Okay. Yeah, why not? Uh, it's too soft. You just don't know how to do it. I'm not expert. I maybe I never make a proper snowman before. Making a snowman or a hill? Start by making a hill. <laughs> it's a body. Body has to be solid. <laughs> Thank you.
có chí dĩ The snow is not ready <laughs> mm, Of course I need help Help Alright, we're only wasting time, we go Not a good job. One day I will make a huge snowman. You will see. Go back to the. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, let's go. 